Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are around the world. My name is Sifa Bride and I'm a Northern Prayer Mantis Conference teacher with 30 years experience. It is the 14th of April 2020. Welcome guys to my weekly quote. Let's get straight to it. To keep from going crazy, you have to cut yourself off from the outside world. Just not think about it. Robert De Niro, most definitely. Um, guys because we are being bombarded every second of the day with negative news it, it it can be so devastating to your spirit and to your mental health that you have to pull back you have to pull back because if you don't mentally it, it, it could it could be devastating so I would suggest that if you're feeling um, a lot of like anxiety or, or stress from it, to pull yourself back, pull back, take a breather and use it as an opportunity to go within oneself. Yeah, but you have to build up your psychic defenses. So use it as an opportunity to build up those psychic defenses. So blank yourself off the news for a period of time. And then when you feel strong enough, you can go back to it if you feel you have to, but only go back and take it in small doses. Yeah, small doses for sure. Um, oh, before I forget, Guys, don't forget, um, if you was introduced to the video, get back to that person and thank them. Um, don't forget to like, share and comment. And of course, I would love to hear your experiences of how you are coping with this lockdown and with all that it incurs, the isolation and what you're doing to keep yourselves active. But let's get back to this quote. To keep from going crazy, you have to cut yourself off from the outside world. Just not think about it. it this is a good quote. This is a good quote. Um, for me personally, uh, I had to pull myself uh, back from all the bombardment I was getting. Getting it from the news, getting it from social media with friends obviously sharing their stuff and um, sharing what's what's going on around the world with this um, lockdown business and it, it did feel overwhelming it felt stressful because you know you feel powerless you know you're getting all this information and it's like hey you know is this really going on uh, can I do something or can't I do anything about it? And you do, you you do feel powerless to do to, to act. So it's so important to to pull yourself out and 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 build up your psychic defenses. I mean, what I did um, in the earlier days of this uh, lockdown thing, I um, I pulled myself away for, and uh, for three days. I uh, I had no social media, no no news, no nothing. I locked myself off to everything, and um, yeah, I felt good. <laughs> I felt very good. I felt stronger within myself. I felt my body relax. I went into meditation. I took it as an opportunity to do my meditation, my breathing exercises, which opened up my lungs and relaxed me. And I felt like myself. I felt at peace again, where all this news and all this disturbance was disturbing my peace. And you can't allow that to happen, guys. You cannot allow that to happen. You have to defend that. You have to guard that with your life. Your peace is your peace. If you have no peace within yourself, you can't deal with anything. So you've got to create that environment, that peacefulness. And if it's a case that you have to lock yourself off from the news for a period of time or, the, or, or social media, then do it. Your mental health is more important than 
what's going on around you. I mean, people are going to tell you anyway, um, if you're not listening to it, of what's, what's happening but, but from a phone call or whatever. But um, you'll always know something that's going on, but at least you're not getting bombarded 24-7. That is the main thing, and that is vital. So in this period of time of of what we say lockdown for people all around the world and my students and my students around the world guys take care of your 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 mental health be active um exercise which is very good for either depression or anxiety or stress exercise exercise for my martial artists do your techniques run through your technique vigorously yeah do not relax on your techniques do not go to sleep yeah do not do what i know a lot of martial arts will probably do because they ain't got the discipline but do your techniques and keep up your exercises this will help you get through this period of time and uh at the same time, it will keep you on your toes and all. But run for your techniques. You'll feel better for it. Trust me. That is what I do. I've always done that. I've always I've always done Kung Fu. I've always said to people, Kung Fu for me personally is a way of life. And at the moment, right now, oh my God, for me, it's a lifesaver. Because if I wasn't doing the martial arts, wow. But it is a way of life. I've always lived my, my life like this. I've always been disciplined to do my techniques at home. And then when I go to the gym, you know, it's it's all good. But there's a lot of people that's going to be suffering. And they're not going to know what to do. Yeah, they're not going to know what to do. But luckily, luckily for my particular, for my students and students around the world, I do make videos. So they've got the videos to keep them going. I am doing online training or video conference with my students and so forth. So we're keeping the uh, communications open. For other instructors out there, please do the same. Keep in contact with your students. Keep on their backs. Keep pressuring them. Make sure that they're doing what they're doing, what they're supposed to be doing. It is not a holiday. All right, it is not a holiday. And for my entrepreneurs out there, businesses out there that are suffering, suffering, guys, keep your heads up. Uh, keep. Uh, keep your your keep um keep your networks going. Keep in contact with your networks. Do video conferences. Keep 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 the co conversations flowing. Yeah, keep the conversation flowing, and move yourself forward. Yeah, move yourself forward. There's going to be a lot of pain even after when this is over. We're still going to have to rebuild. So do what you got to do. But guys. Like I said, it's all about the mental health. Guard that with your life. And on that note, because I can feel myself waffling, I could go on and on and on, guys. Stay blessed. And like I said, if you have to pull yourself back out of all this bombardment, do it. Yeah, do it. So guys, on that note, take care. Stay blessed.